Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing some service on my home air conditioner here. Um, this is uh, about a three and a half ton uh, Tensi Ream straight cool uh, gas furnace. Uh, first step is going to be cleaning the condenser coil here. We already have uh, some damage from someone using an acidic cleaner and not rinsing it. Um, that's not good. But the rest of the coil is salvageable, so um, we may let's see. Ten. I felt a little refrigerant pop there, so we'll replace the Schrader cores. See, this has been a little oily here too. That's good. The high side. Yeah, definitely a little, a little oily around there. It's all right. Um. So we'll uh, clean the coils, then we'll start it up and do some testing. I'm just taking some uh, pressures and uh, measurements here before we pull the evaporator coil to clean it. Uh, just see where we're at. Uh, gauge is still stabilizing a little bit. We got about uh, 60 pounds on the other side, and we're running about 150, 160 head pressure. I like got not too bad. I uh, cleaned up the fence for coils, they're all nice and shiny now. So, uh, the head pressure was definitely higher last time I looked at this thing. Uh, so, it was damn good there. Hey, it's cold like a beer can. That's good. Okay, I just dropped from about 55 psi and 56. That's our cap. Uh, capillary tube system, so we'll uh, check our uh, super heat and our back of it. We'll be sitting in there on the suction line right now. Let's see what we got. Looking about 51. Wow, it's fluctuating a bunch, huh? That. Let's call it 41. Yeah, we're going to call it 41. Uh, I think that's a uh, saturated suction temperature. Let that stabilize for a minute. Um, measured a 71 degree ambient temperature outside. Uh, it was about uh, 72 degree dry bulb return. Wet bulb was 60 and the supply was 60. So we're getting about a 10 degree split, which isn't you know isn't very good. Getting some dehumidification, but not a whole lot of cooling. And that seems to have stabilized now. Uh, we're going to call that 74 on the liquid line. expansion device and I'm pretty sure it's just a fixed orifice It'll be inside there we go to capillary to manifold in there 74 is a good good temperature Let's see if it's green. Slide calculator here. I calculated the target super heat of 15 degrees and uh, with a saturation temperature of 35 for 60 pounds, uh, we have uh, about 11 degrees of super heat. Uh, so, not too bad, but uh, perhaps if we improved, uh, the homeowner knows for sure that the uh, 
the evaporator coil, the filters weren't wasn't being changed for a while, and uh, so uh, we're gonna pull the evaporator coil anyways and clean it just so we know it's done, and then uh, we'll put it back together, and it should be just dandy. Uh, so we'll do a pump down video and uh, all that fun stuff tomorrow. So. Okay, guys, uh, we got our unit uh, calling for cooling right now. It's running. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pump it down so we can uh, pull the event for it. We'll start to close the liquid line now. Okay. Wash the pressure to drop. Go ahead and start on our suction valve. Okay, got our uh, line set in a vacuum now, uh, so we'll have to get the uh, nitrogen out here and um, and break the vacuum. And then we'll uh, do our first cut here, open up the line set with the dryer and um, yep, uh, so we'll clean the coil. All right, uh, I got the coil out of there. Good chance to look at our uh, heat exchanger. Looks good. Looks pretty clean. Uh, and it just slid right out of there. There's no screws or anything. It's kind of weird. But hello, Miss Daisy. You're here for all the excitement. All right. Anyways, we go outside. Here's the dirty side. Pretty rough. I've seen a lot worse, of course, but uh, it's definitely due for a cleaning. Alright, so uh, we'll. Yeah, that's a little nicer, huh? Nice and shiny, my friends. I'm gonna go one more round just for uh, just for GPs. I got my fin comb set here. I'm gonna straighten up some of these fins over here. Got kind of messed up. I'm gonna put it back in. All right, we got uh, everything braced back in. Uh, <laughs> I had a little trouble with this one, as you can see. Uh, kind of hard to get to. I'm good now. No, that one's pretty. So we got the vacuum pump and we're going. Into we'll leave that on there for a while. Make sure it gets, sure it gets nice and dehydrated. Uh, not the prettiest brazing, but uh, it's sealed, I think. Um, and you wouldn't believe it if I told you, but I'm going to tell you anyways. I uh, ran uh, out of nitrogen on the very last braze. I mean, just got done brazing, went outside, and it was... Whew, gave its last little breath. So, uh, that means i got to go get some more nitrogen tomorrow. Uh, but I'll leave this set in a vacuum tonight. And uh, hopefully it will hold the vacuum overnight. And then we'll do a pressure test. And... 
I release the refrigerant back in uh, if everything's good tomorrow. We did our uh, standing pressure test um, last night and all day today. I held 150 pounds and didn't budge a bit. So we're uh, doing our final evacuation here um, before we uh, release the refrigerant back into the line set. So uh, job well done. Pat myself on the back. And uh, we'll release the refrigerant tomorrow and then we'll uh, add our pressure switches. Hey everybody, um, we got it all done here. Uh, I, after extensive uh, vacuum and pressure testing, uh, much more so than I would have done for, <laughs> for someone else, this is right here at my house, so something, you know, if it started leaking or something, I'd feel really stupid. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, it's all good. It's all been uh, vacuum tested it overnight, pressure tested it for a day and a half. It uh, didn't budge at all. So, and of course, looked every, everything with soap bubbles, but, and then we added these uh, pressure switches, pressure controls here, wired them up, tied, tied them up, braided them, made them look all pretty, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, huh, Daisy? That's pretty much it. This is Daisy, by the way. She is our sweet little Jack Russell Terrier, aren't you? Oh, yes, you are the baby. You are the baby, Daisy. She's the baby of the house and the queen of the house at the same time. She's an infant and a ruler. Unbelievable. How do you do that, Daisy? I can't pull that off. Anyways, so it was a lot of fun. And uh, I'm cleaning the condenser coil too, of course. Nice and shiny. Um, so this thing's going to be feeling good and just in time for summer. Catch you later. Oh, it's also, uh, the homeowner noted it had never been this quiet before. And a lot of that was uh, from just <laughs> supporting this suction line with a rag. It was just this wah, wah, wah. Got a good harmonic going with that loop there. Um, but then also, it's uh, just it's running a lot smoother because uh, it's not, uh, not running high head pressure, you know, because the coils were really, really clogged before. They're still, I mean still could use another round even they're not but uh actually not because they're just, just deteriorated from that idiots anyways now i'll catch you later